Why do I criticize my partner? How to be less critical of your partner? How to be less critical? How to stop being critical in a relationship? These are the top Google searches that lead to my website. A few years ago, I wrote a blog post about how to stop criticizing your partner. I guess I should be patting myself on the back because my team's great SEO skills have led those Googling right to this old blog post. But I can't help but reread this post and know that there is so much missing from its original draft. In short, it's out of date. And so I've decided that perhaps it's time to return to this incredibly important topic. Today, I wanna answer the very first question that is most often Googled that leads to my site. Why do I criticize my partner? Or why do I criticize anyone for that matter? Well, according to Brene Brown in her book, Daring Greatly, Research tells us that we judge people in areas where we're vulnerable to shame, especially picking folks who are doing worse than we're doing. If I feel good about my parenting, I have no interest in judging other people's choices. If I feel good about my body, I don't go around making fun of other people's weight or appearance. We're hard on each other because we're using each other as a launching pad out of our own perceived shaming deficiency. Brene also shares, based on her research, that, quote, blame is simply the discharging of discomfort and pain. Blaming is the way we discharge anger, end quote. Why do we criticize others? It's because we are experiencing shame. It's hard to acknowledge this and truly see our shame, especially when we're worked up, but I can tell you in the years of work I've done with clients, shame shows up as a block over and over and over again. And there's a reason that my signature system, the stress less method, is organized the way that it is. Step one, manage your energy. This is where we discharge the discomfort and the pain in a way that is productive and is also in the best interest of you and everyone around you. Step two, identify your blocks. This is where we get clear on what is causing the discomfort and pain which creates those unhealthy reactive behaviors. Step three, create a plan. This is where we determine how we will address all blocks that have been discovered as part of this process. Step four, remove your blocks one by one. This is where we get to the root of what is causing discomfort and pain for you, within you. And we begin the healing process. Step five, Embrace grace. This is the part of the process where you give yourself grace the next time shame shows up. And we work through this process on repeat to deeply support ourselves and create a new way of being. This is the power of the process. Working together to create a new way of being so that we can connect deeply. We can love deeply and we can live life more easefully than ever before.